What's in your cereal bowl? It's our time with Mr. Mayberry. Hey, let's get creative. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Mayberry. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a 3D cereal box and bowl. But before we get started, let's do our paper exercise. Hold up your paper like this, and let's say together, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. Today I'd like you to have your paper the vertical way when we draw. So now it's time to get started. Let's make some art. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to draw a cereal box. And I'm, just, I'm going to get you started and give you some ideas, and then you can finish this up in the way that you'd like to. So first thing we're going to do, I'm just using a regular pencil today. Um, you could also draw this with crayon if you'd like, but I'm using pencil because I can erase that if I make a mistake. So I'm going to start off up here in the top. What I'm going to do is draw a cereal box sitting on a table, and then I'm going to show you another thing you can do with that too. Um, I'm going to start up here in this top left corner, and I want to make a line that slants down at an angle, like that. And then I'm going to make two lines that go across. Actually, this one's going to slant up a little bit towards the right, most of the way over. And I'm sketching this in. And sketching is when you draw something lightly just to kind of figure out where you want to put it or to get your idea on paper. And then you can go back and, and make it darker. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it very sketchy. I'm sketching it out. Then I'm going to make a line that this one is going the same direction as this first one we drew at the bottom. So it's going up that same way. That's what we call parallel. When you have a line, two lines that are going beside each other, almost like railroad tracks. But they're going this, this same direction. Then I'm going to draw another line that connects those on this side, and it's parallel with that one. So this is a shape that they call a parallelogram. Because you have two sets of lines that are going, these two are going the same way, and these two are going the same way. Okay, now once you have that set, the rest of it is not going to be so bad. This might be the trickiest part, is getting that right. And then I'm going to start on this outside edge and draw a line vertical, straight up and down. We've been using that word vertical as we do our paper exercise. So this is a vertical line. So straight up and down. I'm going to use another one here. This one's going to go down a little bit lower than the one on the left there. So this one goes a little longer than what this one is. And one more over on this side, straight up and down, a vertical line. And then it should be a little higher than this one right here. So I may have to erase some after I draw this next part. Now, let's start with this left side. I'm going to draw a line that's parallel going the same direction as this one. So it's going to slant down that same way, just like that. And this is the side of the cereal box. And this will be the front on this side. But what we're doing right now, this makes it look three-dimensional, like it goes back into space or comes out at us. Okay, then I'm going to draw another parallel line. It's going to be slanted the same way as this, all the way at the bottom. I'm going to start down here and go up towards the right. So this makes our shape look like it comes out at us and goes back in. It's not just flat on a piece of paper. If we drew just a rectangle, that would look flat. But this is a 3D version of a rectangle. It's called a rectangular prism. Okay, so this is our cereal box. One more thing before we actually design what's on the cereal box. We're going to make it look like the cereal box is sitting on a table. Now I had you draw the paper, or put the paper vertically because that'll give us a room to make a big box on here and we have a lot of room to put things on it then. But if you wanted to draw this picture on like a horizontal paper and make a smaller box, you could draw more things that are in the room around the table. But I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to make a line that kind of curves up and then on this side, like it's going behind here, and it 
curves down a little bit on this side. So it's like it's on a round, sitting on a round table. And I think just to help you see that even better, I'm going to go ahead and shade in around the box. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Or if you'd like to use crayon to color in around your box, like a, a brown table, breakfast table, that would be fine. I'm just doing this so you can see the box better. This will help you see the box better. Okay, now on the box itself, I'm going to show you how to draw a three-dimensional cereal bowl. Around, it makes it look like it's 3D, like it goes back into space and it comes out at us. And we're going to put it, a lot of times on the cereal boxes, you'll see a bowl with whatever cereal is in the box. You'll see what it looks like in the cereal bowl. And I'm going to start right here. I'm not going to make a real big one. Sometimes, sometimes you see bigger ones, and you could do that. But I'm going to make mine kind of a medium size here. Actually, let's see. I could start with the top top part. You could do this either way. I think I'm going to start with the top part, though. I'm just going to make an oval shape. Now, this oval, I'm making it go the same direction as this line here. So it kind of slants up towards the right. Same as up here. So it's parallel with those two lines. All right, so that's the top of the cereal bowl, and then the side of the cereal bowl is going to be curved. But drawing it like this, it makes it look more 3D. And then, of course, you put whatever cereal you have, you put that inside the bowl. And then I'm going to make it look like this is sitting on a table in this picture on the front of the box. So I make a curved line across like that. So here's my cereal bowl sitting on the table on the front of the box. Now, let's talk about what you can put on your box. First of all, you'll need to think of a name for the cereal. Now, it could be a, a, your favorite cereal, but it might be more fun if you make up your own name for a cereal. And you could use, put your name into it, um, or you could just come up with a, a name. Um, now, a lot of times, cereals names will describe what kind of cereal it is, like if it's a crunchy cereal, or if it's a sweet cereal, which most I guess most cereal is, or if it's flaky, or if it has flakes, or if it has shaped like O's, you might have something with an O on the end. Um, you think of those if it has raisins, or if it has um, different certain colors, you know that it might use, or if it has maybe it has apple in it. Um, you might add those kind of things to your name as well. So you could add those either before or after the name, like. Um, it could be Mr. Mayberry Flakes, or it could be um, Squirrely O's. You know, you could come up with some kind of a name and then add a description either before or after of what kind of cereal it is. And then you'll see cartoon characters on the front of cereal boxes. Maybe you want to draw a cartoon character that's eating this cereal. Or you'll see people on there. You could draw your, your own picture. You could do a, a self-portrait picture of yourself on the front. Okay, but think of some kind of a picture here. And it could be you eating the cereal or um, it's a cartoon character eating the cereal. So a name for it, a picture, and then on the side if you want to list ingredients, you know, uh, what's in the cereal, you could put that on the side. Or maybe there's a coupon or maybe there's a little game on the side. You could, de you know, do something with the side of the box um, as far as what's in inside, what the ingredients are, or, or something fun extra to do on the box. So this is this is the start of a cereal box, and I'd like to have you go ahead and, and add your own ideas now to it, and color it in, take your time, do a good job, and uh, if you'd like to show me what you've done, you can uh, scan that and put it, put it in the comments. But this is our project for today, a cereal box. Well, now that you know how to draw a cereal box, you might try drawing other boxes. Well, thank you for coming to art class, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, Mr. Mayberry.